Hi, everybody. So this week we are going to start talking about um, microbial metabolism. And one of the big processes is respiration. And it is a process that has you know, four steps and a lot of detail that students often kind of struggle to, to keep the information for each step separate. And it can just be kind of overwhelming if not organized properly. And so what I found works and that I would normally provide if we are face-to-face -face is a foldable. And so it's literally just folding paper into flaps in this case um, so that um, you can kind of keep the organization separate. OK, and so I'm going to show you how to make one of these in case that's something that you're interested in doing. And I've had a lot of students say um, that this makes life easier on quizzes, because if I ask a question just about glycolysis, you can go bloop right there. OK, uh, but it's completely up to you whether you want to or not. Um, so when I present the information, it will be separated out by step. You know, so you can just write this in your notebook like regular if you want to. This is just an alternative and it's super easy to make. OK, so you're going to want and I'm going to show you how to fold two pieces of paper. OK, in such a way that you have like this big flap section where we're going to write details specific to the overall process of respiration. Um, and when you make yours, don't write these things. I know it's backwards. It'd be hard for you to copy anyways. But um, as we go through in class, I'll, I'll tell you more specifically what to write on here. Um, and then on each of the remaining three little flaps, you're going to put three of the steps of respiration. OK, so let me show you how to do that. So you're going to get two pieces of paper. They don't have to be different colors if you don't want. Um, I just like contrast, so I always do it with two different colors. And so you just take two pieces of you no know, computer paper um, and you set one on top of the other so that there's roughly an inch of space at the bottom. And a helpful little trick is if you fold your finger like this, this space right here is roughly an inch. OK, so you want about that much space at the bottom. And then all you do is literally fold the pieces of paper over. OK. I'm going to set this down so I can or kind of off to the side. And you just kind of fold it in such a way that all of the flaps are the same amount of space. You know, I know mine's crooked because holding it up um, is kind of challenging. And with the sun the way it is, it's not doing me any favors either. Um, but once you fold it over so that your flaps are all the same amount of space. OK, let me try flipping it. Of course, the sun's not on my side. Okay, so I'm just putting the purple paper on top so it might be easier to see. So again, about an inch at the bottom and then just fold it over. There we go, you can see that better. Um, so that all of the flaps are about the same, um, same size. Can y'all see that better? Yeah, so there's one here, one there, and one there. And then all you do is just straighten it and staple it. And so then you're gonna put an overview here and then step one, two, and three, okay? So I'm gonna go back to this one because I think the white paper is what's causing issues with this, the sun coming into this room. Um, but again, ignore what's currently written on here, but you're gonna write aerobic respiration across the top. And again, leave as much space as you can here. There's gonna be more information here. Um, I actually use this for part of my interview for ACC. So these are just little like points just for the faculty to be able to see when they were evaluating me. Um, and then you put glycolysis um, on this second flap, and then Krebs cycle on the third flap, and then oxidative phosphorylation um, on the bottom flap. And on the PowerPoints, you can see them written <laughs> properly left to right, spelled out. Um, and then as we go through class, um, you're going to write information you know, related to them here. OK? And again, just a suggestion. Um, I've just found to be pretty effective in my other classes. All right, y'all have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon.